Hello, everybody. Welcome to Art Time Live with me, Bridget, your host at Waterfall Arts here in Belfast, Maine. As usual, if you are out there, how about you say hello and in the comments and tell us what your name is, who are you, because sometimes you might be using somebody else's account if you're on Facebook or on YouTube. So let us know who's out there and where you are today. I also wanted to say thank you as always to our video artist, Gabby the Grape, who created our intro video. We love it so much. Thanks, Gabby. Let's see, we do have a couple people on here already. Gabby's out there. Good to see you. Kevin Hummer is a cat. Kevin the cat is on here and I assume he is with his buddy Mavis. Nice to have you both with me. Um, while you are uh, getting set up, while I'm getting set up too, let's make sure you have everything that you need for today's project. So let's look at uh, an image of what we'll be doing today, and then we can check in with some more friends who are out there. But while we're waiting, let's take a look at today's project. I am calling it uh, abstract message which just means that somewhere in there we're using letters to help us create a really cool design. You might be able to tell from that picture that I used markers for that one. If you have something to draw with and some stuff to color with, you're in good shape. If you have a ruler, even better. Or maybe if you don't have a ruler, you could just use some lined notebook paper. That works too. Let's see who else we have here. I have my friend Marissa saying hello from Colorado. Everybody say hello to Colorado. That's a first for us, I think. Welcome, guys. We hope that you have a good time with us today. And I have a new friend out there, Nora. Everybody say hello to Nora. We're so glad that you're here. Uh, the Fowlers are here, just all of them, but definitely Elliot. And Elliot is probably joining us today because he knows our special guest artist, whose name is Leela, and I can see her at the bottom of my screen, but you guys can't see her yet. Hi, I'm so glad you're here. We are gonna check in with Leela in just a little bit, but first let's play a quick round of what is it? And then I'll get you started on your art project before we talk to our friend Leela, okay? I also have someone here from Denmark, uh, possibly a 13 year old friend as well, but I'm happy to have a grown up here from Denmark as well. Does anyone know where Denmark is? I want you to, if you can't get up and do it right now, I want you to look it up, look at the comments if you can see them, D-E-N-M-A-R-K and find it on the map so you can see where our friends were joining us from today. I'm imagining it must be a little bit later in the evening. Let us know what time it is. What time is art time live in Denmark? That's pretty exciting. Let's see, where is Norcross, Marion Fowler? Oh, and Leela's like, what, she's on there too? Where is Norcross? I don't know, is that in Maine? Let me know. All right, friends, if this is your first time joining us, we like to get our creativity warmed up by playing a game called What Is It? And for What Is It? I show everyone an object and we use our imaginations as much as possible to come up with a new answer for what the object is, what it could be. Today's object is, what is it? Let me show it to you some more. What is it? Now, a not great answer would be, well, that is a, a small ball that seems to be created from some kind of dried vine. Yeah, that's technically what it actually is. That's not what we're interested in here at Our Time Live. We want to know what would the most creative person in the world try to try to convince you that this is? So if you have an idea, just type it into the comments. If you have an idea, but you can't type it fast enough, why don't you ask your grown up to do it for you? I'll get us started. And I did not think about this ahead of time. Um, this, we got to try to convince everybody that our answer is the true answer. Um, I'll tell you what this actually is. Um, I don't know if any of you have hamsters, but hamster wheels, people understand what that is. And then there's a hamster ball, which allows you to let your hamster kind of roam the world in this plastic ball. Well, guess where they got that idea from? Cockroach cage. 
It's a cage for a cockroach that lets it roll around, but it doesn't let it get into your cabinets and into your stuff. So if you are one of those people out there who does have a pet cockroach, you already knew what this was. Who else has an answer? Leela says, it's a coconut of wires. <laughs> Looking at you, Leela. Nicely done. It's a soccer ball for a fairy and it's very light because fairies aren't very heavy. Yeah, you, you a little fairy could break its little leg on a soccer ball that's as hard as a soccer ball. Good call. Who said that? That was Mavis. The Fowlers, I think that's Elliot that might be calling this a rolled bird's nest. So you can take it home in your pocket without messing it up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not too shabby. We're nice and we're, we're warmed up today. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Oh, I just want to go back to our friends in Denmark. It's dark 21 at night. For you guys, that would be 9 p.m. Almost bedtime. I would love to have art time at bedtime. Maybe not. Maybe I would get too wound up. I can say something in Danish. Uh, tell me if I got that right. It's all you need to know if you go to Denmark. All right, friends, let's get our art supplies out for today's project. And then we will say hi, excuse me, to my friend, Leela. I'm gonna show you, it's on my desk. Oh man, and it just flipped around. That is so annoying. <laughs> it's sideways. Oh, I'm going to do artwork sideways and upside down for you today. I'm so kind. Believe it or not, my name is somewhere in there. I love doing this project because I really love abstract art, but sometimes I just don't know where to start. So drawing letters as the shapes that they are and just forgetting about them as letters is really fun. I also love this because I can put some meaning into my artwork that maybe it's just personal to me. So I don't want it to be too obvious. So, excuse me, I have some friends out there uh, that are in Bridge, they're sixth graders, and a layer that they're adding to today's project is that they might be um, hiding some positive traits about themselves. Sometimes it's awkward to make a poster about how awesome you are, but, if you need a little positive reinforcement for yourself, you could make some artwork today where you remind yourself of one of your really great characteristics. To everybody else, it's just beautiful art. And to you, it's a little bit of, yeah, man, you're awesome. This list, by the way, you can look these up online. These are great for if people ask you what you think of a person, you say, they're awesome. You can get a little bit more specific. If you think you're nice, you can get a little bit more specific. It's great knowing more words so that you can get more specific and know yourself a little bit better. That's my lecture today on character development. Let's say hello to our guest, Leela, who has been waiting so, so patiently down there. Hi, darling. All right. Hello. Hi. How you doing, friend? I haven't seen you in a long time. Good. Good. Why don't you say hello to everybody and tell them who you are? Hi. I'm Leela. And how old are you? I'm six years old. Six years old. And where do you live, my friend? No, you don't have to be specific, but what town do you live in? Belfast. Belfast. Any brothers or sisters? Yes. What you got? Elliot. Elliot, yep. Is he there today? Yes. Does Elliot want to wave hello? <laughs> it's just like, I'm in the spotlight, bro. Get your own week. I hear you. That's great. Hey, Leela, is it okay if we show our friends some of your awesome artwork? Yes. You know what, Leela? Your friend Theo, uh, cousin, just said hello to you. So he's out there watching too. We got so many Fowlers out here. Okay, if I show some of your artwork, <laughs> then can you tell everybody a little bit about it? Okay. Okay, great. So let's look at this one first and it's just gonna pop up in front of us a little bit. Now, tell everybody what we're looking at here, Leela. It's my papa as a deer and me as a deer. And it's then there's a 
heart in between us. It's your papa as a deer and you as a deer with a heart in between you. Fantastic. Leela, when did you create this artwork? Mm, this fall. This fall. Wow. So this is pretty recent. Let's, can we look at another one? Yes. <clears throat> Hi, I can see you on the other side of this guy. Tell us about this one. Um, that one is a dog leprechaun. A dog leprechaun. And on the dog bowl, it says its name, which is spot. And then there's gold coming out of the dog bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it's gold dog food for Spot. Awesome. Hey, what materials did you use on this leprechaun dog? Um, white, a white pencil, mm -hmm. a pink pencil, a brown pencil, a green pencil, and a, a red pencil, and a Sharpie. Fantastic, that's mixed media when you're using your colored pencils and your Sharpie. Fancy, fancy, my friend. Are you okay if we look at another one now? Mm-hmm. All right, this one your mom sent me today and I really like it. I wanted to hear more about it. That is a picture <laughs> of a lot of animals from the jungle. So it's um, a leopard. A leopard. Um, a sloth. A sloth, okay, sloth some is in the tree. Of, some type of bird. <laughs> a rainbow bird. Yeah, and some type of other cat <clears throat> that lives in the jungle. A cat in the jungle. Hey, Leela, I noticed something a little bit fancy about the friends on the ground. Those. <laughs> They're wearing bows on their heads, pretty fancy. And the bird, my eye was drawn to the bird because it looks like you spent forever on, on the rainbow lines. A really nice coloring job, I think, on that one. Very nice. Can we there, look at, go ahead. And then there are some bananas. There are some bananas down by the, uh, the, the leopard and the cat, huh? The cat that's in a wheelchair. Oh, the cat is in a wheelchair. A brown one. A brown wheelchair to match. Excellent. Excellent. Moving right around the tree. So cool. Leela, I'm going to ask you to tell us about one more, okay? Okay. All right. What do we got? That was a self-portrait I made of me um, in my outdoor gear. This is a self-portrait of you in your outdoor gear? Yes. When I didn't have my new glasses. Oh, you didn't have your new glasses yet. Those are your old glasses, yeah. Yeah. And um, before I stop showing this one, tell us what material did you use for this one? I used this chalky pastel and paint and a Sharpie. More mixed media, how awesome. Leela, which is your favorite one that I showed everybody today? Hmm. Hmm. The dog. The dog. Leprechaun dog. Leprechaun dog, going back to it, we can land on that one. Now, yeah. I have to ask you, right, because St. Patty's Day is right around the corner. Is it tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, so did you just make this one or what? I made it couple days ago. Okay, just in time, just in time, excellent. I noticed that I have some comments here, so let me take a look at those for you. Uh, we have somebody saying to you, uh, hi Leela, we love your art from Grand Joe and Grandy. Who's that? Uh, they're, fr they're, they're great aunt and Great uncle. Wow, awesome. They really like the snow. I think that's the snow that was painted on your last one, huh? Yeah. Somebody loves the rainbow bird. That's pretty awesome. Excellent. If anybody has a question for this young artist, Leela, just type it in there and we'll get to that. 
Leela, let me ask you a couple more questions before we start doing our art project today. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is your favorite kind of artwork to do? Um, I like to do both types, abstract and like realistic. But some of them are realistic. They look real, but they're not real. So. Yeah. Yep. So a little, a little bit of abstract, a little bit realistic, and a little bit in between. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. And if you could only use one art supply for the rest of your life, everything else <laughs> had to go in the drawer forever. You just had one type of thing that you could use. What would you choose? Rainbow markers. Rainbow markers. Boom. You came up with that pretty fast. Good call. Good to know. I'll throw in some paper in there for you, too. Okay. Okay. Very good. So, Leela, do you think that you're going to try today's project with us? Yes. Yes. Awesome. So, let's get started, and then can I check in with you later, and we'll see how you did? Okay. Excellent. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, people. Do you have your pencil out? Do you have your paper? Oh, I have one more thing for you, Leela. I know that you're still listening. Your friend Joan wants to give you a compliment. She really likes that leopard dog. Uh, she likes that Leela used Sharpie and pencil and the inside, oh, on the inside of the ears. People, people notice the details when we get your stuff on screen. That must feel pretty good. Another comment, we're loving her artwork and she is so generous in sharing with us. I agree. Thank you, Leela. Thank you very much. So let me get my, <clears throat> let me share my screen here, super sideways. Now I used a ruler on my, on my paper today. Oh, way backwards. <laughs> Fantastic. That's awkward. I used um, a ruler, but like I said, if you'd have some notebook paper and you want to save yourself the trouble, go ahead. But this is going to help us. Having lines is going to help us big time. So first things first, if you have a ruler and you remember how to use it, I'll add a line just to hang with you for a minute. When you put your ruler down, friends, make sure that you're pressing it down in place with one hand because there's nothing worse than it sliding around, right, when you're trying to make your line. So put your ruler where you want it. Press it, press it, press it, press it down onto the paper. And then really light and quick. Boop, 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 boop. Hey man, listen, if it gets screwed up and it's wonky, don't stress out. You this takes practice, practice, practice. I've been drawing lines with a ruler for a really long time. So if you gotta erase it or if you gotta flip your paper, go right ahead. And what's easier if you're not in the mood to do some measuring is when I drew a line with my ruler, I just put the ruler down and I drew a line on the other side of it. Boo, just like that. I found that to be a really good distance for what I was doing today. Okay, let me see, can I get this right? Oh my gosh, so backwards. So I'm going to start with you up here and I'm gonna give you the tip on how to get this to work. And then I'm just gonna set you free as usual, right? Because I want you to be really creative with it. So when we are drawing the letters between the two lines, what we want to pretend is that every letter is a person that's gotta fit into a teensy tiny space, okay? So I'm gonna start with a B for my name and maybe that's easy for you to start with the first letter of your name. And we're going to start, <laughs> sorry, this is like so backwards, my friends. You can't even believe what my phone is doing right now. All right, I'm gonna start at the top. Every letter has to touch the ceiling, touch the floor. So here comes the B. I'm touching the ceiling and I'm coming down all the way to the floor, boom. The first part of B is a straight line. And now I'm gonna draw the rest of my B. Boop, boop. Can you already see that uh, letters are really just cool combinations of shapes, right? 
Now, listen up. Here's how we end up making a bunch of cool shapes and our letters kind of disappear. I gotta start at the ceiling again with my R, but if I put it out here, I'm gonna draw it light so you can see. This is gonna be boring. You can definitely tell you got a B. You can definitely tell you got an R. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start R all up in B's space. I'm gonna start at the ceiling and I'm gonna bump into B. I'm gonna bump into B again. Oh yeah, you see what I'm talking about? I'm gonna do the top of R, it's gotta to touch the ceiling. Boop, and now it's gotta to touch the floor. Boop, yep. And I'm gonna do I, and I is always kind of fun because it's really gonna, whoa, because it's really gonna disappear, watch. That's right here. No, it, it's gotta to touch the ceiling. I'm gonna to try to get it to bump into R too, oh yeah. What is this even? I can still tell it's B-R-I, but I'm not sure somebody else would. Now, friends, look at mine with me. How would you do a capital D if you really wanted it to kind of disappear? B-R-I, and I have a straight up and down line. I want you to imagine, how would you do a capital D right now? Here I am doing it. There's no wrong way to do it. I'm curious if we pick the same way. And man, it's hard to tell what I did because I didn't erase the old one in there. Now I broke my own rule, didn't I? Because I said that they wanted to be bumping into each other, but here's the thing, I made a cool rectangle. I like that shape. But another time I did it like this, I did the R, whoa, I, and then I just did the D just like that. Tricky. Yep, there's an I somewhere in there. You got it? So work on your letters, and I'm going to keep going on mine, but it's okay if you have a moment where you start to do it, and then you think, oh, man, there's a better way to do that, and erase it. I did that. Let me show you where I did that on mine. Oh, can I make this straight at all for you? There we go. The first time I drew my B, I didn't quite put it over close enough to the R, so I erased it and I redid it. Okay, so first, let's write out whatever word. If my bridge friends are out there, you might be doing your name or you might be already starting on the word that you found that describes you. whatever, and maybe you're just warming up, so you're just doing some random letters. Now look at my ET. This is kind of boring, isn't it? If I wanna make some cool shapes in here that I can color differently, how could I do that? I mean, I could do whatever I want, but an easy thing would just be to drag this over, and now I just have a rectangle and a rectangle, yeah? I don't know if you're gonna write a secret message today. Look at my capital M is one of my favorite ones because it's now you might be realizing for the first time in your life, capital M is just three triangles. Nice triangle, nice triangle, nice triangle. And you can also probably see down here, when I first started coloring, you could see down here on the on the um, edge, I started just looking at what colors I had in my set of markers and I was choosing my palette. So I never work in blue and I decided just for some reason to go for it using blue today. I started just coloring in each shape as I went and the markers, I just wasn't loving what they were doing because my paper is really thin. So I decided to fill in some of the shapes with patterns and I really liked it. So I kind of changed my plan halfway through. So I'm wondering if that's what you're up to. My buddy Joan is wondering, do you have to use blue? Friend, I want you to use whatever you want to use. I don't know why I was in a blue mood, but every time we do a project, every time you do a project, you really have to listen to your artist voice. Okay, if you're doing an activity with somebody online or if you see something cool on Pinterest, you just wanna kind of take the how-to from them and then make it your own. 
So maybe you're using colored pencils today. Maybe you're using crayons. Maybe you're doing this giant size. Make it your own however you want. And I would love to see what you ended up doing. So if this is your first time, just let me tell you right now, I would love to see what you're doing. And you could do that a few ways. After we're done with Art Time, Time Live, you could take a picture of what you created and you could post it in the comments on Facebook. Or if you happen to be on Instagram, Waterfall Arts has a whole separate Instagram account just for young artists. So you could find us there. That is Waterfall Bridge on Instagram. And I would love to post your work there. Or you can email it to me at Bridget at waterfallarts.org. So as I was saying, I don't know why I went with blue. I don't know why I went with patterns. However you want to do it, I would love to know how you take this general idea and make it your own. If you end up doing uh, like a lot of words, you might want to work them, uh, do some lines smaller in text so that you can actually finish this in this lifetime. <laughs> if you have a lot to say, maybe you would want to do that on notebook paper because those lines are pretty close. And I could imagine you making lots of little shapes in there very easily, right? Let me see. Oh, Theo out there wanted to use blues and greens, but now, you know, did I ruin it for you, Theo? <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I ruined somebody's mood with my choices. Oh, well, I want to know what you ended up using, okay? Um, yeah, I don't know if you noticed this, but I started out using just the box of markers that I had next to me. And once I got going on the blue thing, I realized I needed more than two shades. So I just started going through my whole marker collection, <laughs> trying to find every blue that I could. Another tip for you that you can ignore or try it out is when you start coloring in the shapes that you made, you might find it more fun or faster if you just choose your first color that you're going to go with. Oh, predictable. That's my favorite color, orange. And just use that going down the line because then it helps you spread out your shape. So let's say I was going to do some orange here. I'm just going to keep going with orange and work my way through all the shapes. I could even turn, I can turn my, you don't have to see it as letters. Look what happens if I just do it this way. That's fine too. Maybe I want to do a different kind of pattern here. Mm -mm -mm. Boop, boop. And work your way all the way through. It's going to go faster and it helps you actually keep your colors separated nice and evenly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I found I was getting a little bit impatient having to pick up and put down a new marker every time. I'm getting you dizzy with that, sorry. Um, Leva, as I color in this shape, are you okay with us checking in with you in a minute? Alrighty, she gave me the yep. You don't have to be done with any artwork. It would just be nice to say hi before we sign off for the day. Um, I've seen versions of this where people made the letters super impossible to even tell what was going on in there. So they had definitely a very secret message. Or I've seen it where it was really just about making some lettering look cool. So you could easily read what the message was, but it just looked kind of cool and fancy and made for a nice poster. I'm going to show you one more time um, the example picture that banner out of there um because i'm wondering if you can read what the secret message is in the one that i made if you can tell what that says let's see your guess in the comments i'll give you a clue it has one two three four words in it what four words did i put into my artwork hmm Dun, dun, dun. Uh, 
I have uh, lots more artists lined up in the weeks to come. But uh, if you are somebody out there that would enjoy being an artist on my show, wherever you are, doesn't matter, just let me know, in, either in the comments or you can email me at bridget at waterfallarts.org. I'd love to have you sometime. It looks like we have a guess. Uh, two guesses. Oh, Theo's working it out, working it out. Yep, you got it. Every mistake is progress. True. It's true. And yeah, I found it. So I was kind of halfway between trying to make it really, really hard. And also, I really like that saying. So I did want you to be able to find it in there. <laughs> Joan said lots of letters. It's just artwork with lots of letters. I appreciate that perspective as well. Oh, great. Oh, my gosh. Guys, we might have friends from Colorado being on our show sometime. Morgan and Ian. That would be so cool. We would love to do that. And I know that's earlier in the day out there, too. So I'm glad that you could make it with us today. All right, Ms. Leela. Coming at you. Hi. Hi. How did you do today? Did you try it? Yes. How did it go? I'm not finished, but it is going good. Oh, good. It's going good. It wasn't too difficult? No. Hold that up a little bit for me. I'm going to see if I can guess what you're writing. Oh, you got your name in there. I can tell it. Yeah, but... Because I love the A. The A makes really good shapes. What's this one say? Oh, I. that is a secret that only you know. <laughs> I don't know. It says Do brave. You, it says brave? You did the cool characteristic thing. That's so cool. Hey, Leela, do me a favor. Ask mom to take a picture when it's done so we can post it in the comments, okay? Uh-huh. Great. Hey, before we go, Leela, I always like to ask our guest artists, do you have any advice for any other young artists that are watching the show today? Hmm. Not really. Not really. What inspires you? Um, I like to look around and then see what I can think of. You know what, Leela? I think that's actually really great advice for artists is just look around you, right? When you're stuck, when you need inspiration, there is inspiration absolutely everywhere. Up in the, up in the sky, up on the ceiling, under your feet, and all around. So thank you so much for sharing that. I think that's a great idea. Uh, do you want to say goodbye to everybody with me? Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we would love to see you here next week at the same time in the same place. Bye.